Hello and welcome to Go Get a Geeks. I am Aditya Solge and today get ready to embark on an exciting journey of creating a code generator using Java annotations and reflection API. Imagine a world where you define a simple model class and with few annotations an entire backend layer is generated. Let's witness the magic in action. So here we have a student class which is a model class and it contains two fields a name and a roll number. It also contains getters and setters for each of these fields. Now we want to create a data layer which persists these fields name and roll number in the database. So using our code generator we can annotate this class with at the rate 5 db generated which means for this class we need to create a DAO layer. Next since we only want to persist name and roll number and percentage field is a transient field which we are going to compute during runtime. So what we are going to do is we are going to annotate name and roll number with at the rate persisted annotation which to our processor it will signify that these two fields must be persisted. We also want to signify that each roll number must be unique across all these student records. So for that we are going to use at the rate unique key annotation. Now we are done with our all code. The only thing that we need to do now is just compile the code. So I am going to run it or I am going to compile it. So the build is successful. We have our target folder created now. We are going to look into it. There is a folder generated source. And if you look at it closely, now we have these five classes created. Two are exception classes, request exception, service exception, which we are going to talk about in details later. Let's first look at our interface, which is the student DAO. So it has four methods, add, delete, update, and get all. All of these methods throw our custom exception. Next, we have our student generated DTO. The reason we need this is to make it easier for writing these objects directly to file. And if you notice it carefully, it only contains the field which are marked with at the rate persisted or at the rate unique key. And lastly, we have our DAO implementation class, which contains the core business logic. So it creates a DB file student.db and then it has add method, which contains logic to convert our student class into a a student generated DTO which is our DTO and then it opens the file and then writes writes the student DTO object. Similarly get all it directly opens the file and then returns the list of a student. Next we have delete which takes in a student but since our roll number is a unique key so it compares the student object on the roll number. You can specify more than one unique key also and the code will automatically generate those uh, end end conditions. Similarly update, it will identify the student object based on roll number and then write the new object instead of the old one. Then we have uh, three private utility methods also. Uh, one is db exist, it purely checks if the file is already created or not. And then two utility methods to convert the student object into our generated DTO and the generated DTO into student object. These two methods help to abstract the concept that we have an internal DTO. Now this might sound similar to Lombok and while we are focusing on a local file based data store in this project, the possibilities are endless. You can extend this concept to create any backend logic that you need. Once you master this, you will have skills to innovate and impress on your resume. So what's coming next? Prepare to go in the details of Java annotations. Learn how they work and how to use their power. Explore the power of Java reflection APIs. Uncover the mechanisms behind the frameworks like Spring Boot and libraries like Lombok and Google Juice. You will be equipped with the insider knowledge giving you competitive edge amongst your peers. So that's it for this video. If you are excited to create code generator, 
hit that like button and share this video with your fellow coders. Stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.